So if you've ever been to an average website, let's just take a look at WSD.net's website. Notice how all of their links are contained within a space. Okay, so everything is traditionally contained within a space. Well, in our last video, we talked about um, linking to multiple pages. So right now I have my index and my page two. Well, let's go through and create two more pages. So I'm just going to say page three dot HTML. And let's create one more page four dot HTML. Well, instead of having four individual links, we, what we can do is we can put our links in a list. Well, we actually need to give page three and four some context. So I'm just gonna copy and paste exactly what I had from page two to page three. But instead of saying this is page two, I'm gonna say this is page three. And on page four, I'm gonna say this is page four. So what we want to do now is we have all three of our links. Well, we want to create a list of this type of links. So all we have to do is, is we just create a list like normal. So let's do an unordered list. So we say UL. And then we close out our UL. And then we have our list elements, right, our LIs. And we have three different paths that they can take. They can go to page one, page two, or page three. Well, what's really cool is, is instead of just typing in some text here, I can actually put a link right there. So for right here, instead of saying just some random text, I put my link there. And I want my link to say just page two. All right, so I have my list element. And my list element wraps my anchor element. And my anchor element's text that shows is page two. So let's just see the difference. If I say page three right here that's not wrapped in an anchor element and one that is wrapped in our anchor element. Notice how that this is now a link inside of a list, but this page three, because it's not wrapped in this anchor element, is not. Well, we're gonna do this exact same thing for all three pages. I'm just gonna copy and paste, and here I'm going to say page three, page four, but I can't forget to change my href attribute as well to link this one to page three and this one to page four. So now we have this list. Oh, what did I do wrong here? Well, I forgot to put one of my closing tags there. So I just need to put that little less than sign there and that fixes our problem. Okay, so I have my links to page two, page three, and page four. So I've created this tree of links and I can just hit page two and it takes me to page two. And if I rerun this and I hit page four, ooh, what did I do wrong in my file name? Notice how if I hit page four, it doesn't take me anywhere. Well, that's because I named these two pages with capital P's. So over here, I have to fix that and make these capital P's. And now if I rerun it and click on page four, it runs. So capitalization does matter, but this is how we create a list of links. Kind of cool. That is it for right now.